Hey guys, welcome to Nicopara Volume 1. This is TJ, your gamer girl, signing on. This is basically a visual novel. It's so cute. I mean, just look at that. Look at them. Look at them. They're so cute. I just want to. <laughs> right. Well, let's get the story started, shall we? Phew, this should be most of the boxes then. I wiped the sweat from my, off my forehead with my arm as the moving truck disappeared from view. Although it was early April and only the beginning of spring, today's weather was quite nice. It was even a bit hot. Well, it's a good day for a new start. I turned my head to look at the empty bakery, which didn't even have my, any signage yet. Really? What's... 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 what... what's... slowly disappearing? Up there. <laughs> The brand new exterior wall had a western look with a predominantly white and brown motif. There was also a large window which let lots of sun in it. Sun, light, in. I think I misread that. And finally, there were the words that displayed the name of the bakery, La Soleil. Instead of the proper French article, Le, it was La Soleil, meaning the sun. This was a nod towards the name of the shop of someone I admired. Now that I'm on my own, I'll have to do my best. I softly murmured to myself. From here on out, no one would tell me what to do. I was going to start completely anew, despite the stature of my family's name, and everything that had happened up until now. I alone would decide my path, and take responsibility for what I do. In exchange for that freedom, I can't blame anyone else for what happens. Still, although I was a bit worried, the thought of what lay ahead made me break into a smile. All right. In any case, I'd better get all these things cleaned up. I took a deep breath and got my spirits back up. I stepped into the new smelling bakery. I wanted to say something in Japanese, but I forgot. Hmm? What's with this big... What's with this big spot? Big. Bleh. Hmm. What's with this big box? In front of me was a large box I didn't recognize. In fact, there were two of them. Fragile, delicate. Absolutely, this side up. If thrown, your com your company will be in trouble. The warnings were going overboard. They were getting annoying. Even if these are baking supplies, I don't remember buying anything quite like this. First off. They were boxes that looked like they came from my house. If these were for the bakery, there's no way I wouldn't remember buying them. There were no tags from the moving company either. All there was were those warning labels. Well, I'll know for sure once I open the... <laughs> oh my god, that's so cute! Huh? Uh Oh my god. It's so cute. Uh Oh, it's just a cat, huh? Just a troublesome cat. Jeez. Like I have, like that would fool me. What are you doing, Chocola? <laughs> uh, oh my god, you're so cute. Chocola, you're so cute. I just want to... 
Ah! So cute. We just saw each other at home yesterday, you know. Size of a fully grown human girl. Human? They're not light! I'm not saying you're fat. But they're not light! Well, compared to the rest of my things, you are heavy. She ignored what I said. Chuckled up, puffed out her cheeks. You could say that she was always happy go lucky. Or rather, she preoccupied herself with only what was in front of her. Well, I guess that's how you'd describe Chocola. While I was getting ready to move, I did wonder why I didn't see you. Oh god. Hey. Oh my god, you're so cute too. Oh my god, you're so cute too. You're so cute. Why is vanilla here too? Yeah, Chocola is definitely more expressive than you are, Vanilla. Again, huh? In any case, Chocola, Vanilla, get out of there. I was at my wood end with the large boxes that suddenly shown up. Anyhow, Chocola and Vanilla got out of their boxes. Why is no one picking up the phone? Just what is she good at doing? I hung up after trying to call my little sister. There was no way that Chocola and Vanilla could have gotten mixed in with the rest of the boxes in the first place. On the outside, cat girls look almost he like he look almost like humans. They can understand words and talk just like us. But more than humans, cat girls were closer to normal cats. After all, cat girls had ears and tails just like cats do. They were genetically modified humanoid cats that were commonly referred to as cat girls. Are, uh, it, Japan's already hit that kind of technology? Damn, what am I missing out on? These, ca these days, cat girls fit into society as pets and families or partners to humans. My little sister really loves to dote on cat girls. So our family has six, including Chocolate and Vanilla. In any case, they couldn't have mailed themselves all on their own. Mailing living things through the post would be impossible for one thing. There's no way my parents would have helped with this either. Thus, I could only guess that this was somehow Shigure's doing. I just realized something. There we go! That works! I see. So Shigure was an accomplice then. <laughs> Mew bedding? Oh my god. Oh, 
Are they? Don't get out of control and hurt yourselves! Hi. Hi. Without any ill intentions, the two cat girls were off and running. Well, the bakery did have a living quarters on the second floor. So I wasn't worried about them causing a ruckus around here. Of course, there aren't young cat girls anymore either. So I shouldn't have to worry about them getting out of control too much. Well, besides that. I looked up an address in my phone if my phone's address book. Mina Duki residence. Well, I already left Shigure a message, so she could call me, she should call me back later. Without pressing the call button, I put my cell phone back in my pocket. I had moved out without saying anything. So for her to call me back within a day seemed a bit stupid. Well, there it wasn't really an issue I needed to bring up right this moment. I should hear from Shigure soon, anyhow. Whoa. You got a little close there, Chocola! You're so cute. You were so cute. There you go, step back. That's good. Good work, you two. Gosh, both of you have major bedheads. Sheesh. I tidied up their hairs with a, their hair with a comb. Their soft hair felt nice as always. I lightly bonked both of them on the head while they had their eyes closed. Now then, why were the two of you hiding among my moving boxes? You had no choice? Just tagged along? You too. Well, I figured that had to be the reason, but... Anyhow, I recomposed myself and looked at the two of them again. Listen up, okay? How many times have I told you to? This isn't a vacation or a picnic. I moved out because I have no intentions of going back there. If you were at home, you wouldn't have to worry about. You wouldn't have anything to worry about. Shigure and the other cat girls are there too. It would be better if you two just... <laughs> I love the fa the look on Chocolate's face. Oh my god. That's <laughs> While listening to those silly excuses, I glanced at the clock and saw that it was already past one o'clock. Now that I thought about it, I haven't e eaten anything since this morning either. Well, why don't we have lunch first then? Glad to know. These two were as easy going as always. Yeah. 
You'll bother those around us, so try not to get too carried away, you two. Since the refrigerator was empty, we headed to the nearby shopping district to buy groceries. From brand name clothing stores to supermarkets, there was an array, an array of stores. There was even a drugstore with daily necessities amongst them. If you come here, we have just about any free thing. That was how the real estate agent recommend, had recommended this place to me. Wait. Don't you two go shopping with Shigure often? Hey, first of all, Shigure is your master. <laughs> eh, never mind then. Anyhow, keep it down inside the store, okay? I parted from the two of them. I decided to hurry on ahead. But that's stuff for you two to use. I don't need it, so put it down and come over here. <laughs> Don't just say that and then toss that in the basket all nonchalantly. I had to be on guard or they would sneak something in when I wasn't paying attention. They even tried to grab another basket for themselves at the supermarket earlier. It was apparent to me how dreadful an idea it was when they decided to come along. It has nothing to do with being honest. I'm telling you, don't just put the shampoo in the basket like that. Put it back. Don't put on some act to confuse the customers around us! Seriously! We'd only just moved here. But suddenly we already had disapproving glares directed at us. I'm not a cheapskate. Besides, I nearly got reported. After that, it was the same sort of exchange at the supermarket. The whole thing was so awkward that I don't think I can visit that shopping district for a while. Well, I guess you could say that was the cute side of cat girls. Definitely does. What does it smell? I turn towards the source of it. <gasps> oh my god, you are so cute! I want you. I want you. I want you so badly.
タッツアーツで、カツオブシタッリのタコヤキ、イカガディスカー Oh my god, you are too cute. I want you so badly. I want to take you home and just cuddle with you. I agree wholeheartedly. It was a cat girl younger than chocolate and vanilla. She waved her tiny hands as she politely drew customers in. In human terms, she looked like she was about 12 or 13 years old. In cat years, she was about 6 months old. The young cat girl noticed us and ran over. ちょっと The food stand owner had a wry smile on her face like she was talking about a mischievous child of hers. At a glance, it was understandable that seeing a young cat girl made it, so, made it easy to overlook these things. Mine were originally strays, so I don't actually know how old they are. The veterinarian said they were twins and were now about nine months old. My little sister is actually quite the education freak. Back then, they were really noisy, but it was all worth it. Well, I am grateful. She lightly nudged me with her elbow. I responded with an embarrassed, forced smile. Hearing this kind of stuff in public sure was embarrassing. The three of them were getting along very well. The food stand owner looked fondly at them from nearby. Her room seemed tinged with blame and worry. She grumbled, letting out a sigh. Not that long ago, it wasn't rare to see stray humanoid cats just wandering throughout town. But now, it was more likely for one to see humanoid cats that were well loved by their owners. Since the amount of unfortunate hum humanoid cats had decreased, there was more of a balance, and owners were quite elated. <laughs> it was a bright and honest laugh. I nodded in agreement. That is true. There must, this must be like how pets find their way back to their owners. I smiled at such an uncharacteristic thought for me.
Chocolate and vanilla shoulders drooped down heartedly. As they hung their heads, I rubbed them from behind. I took a look at the little takoyaki seller. Okay, three orders of takoyaki. Can you do that for me? Her large eyes blinked as she tilted her head in confusion. Yeah, for me, chocolate and vanilla. Could you do that for me? It's going to take time to get home and make food, after all. Besides, I want to try the takoyaki here, too. <laughs> Wait, what does that mean? My question was completely ignored. Well, I guess I shouldn't let me bother it. I shouldn't let it bother me, huh? I wondered about that as I looked at chocolate and vanilla, happily awaiting their takoyaki in front of the food stand. Still can't get a hold of her. Were there guests over today? When I checked the clock, it was past 10 o'clock already. Since then, I tried calling Shigure several times, but couldn't get through to her. And just like that, it already gotten this late. I've never gone this long without hearing from Shigure. I did, really didn't understand my family schedule at all. You haven't even grown that much. What are you two talking about? Vanilla, you're the one changing the subject. In any case, don't worry about the bath. You two need to get ready to go home. Stop feigning ignorance, you two! Cut that out! The two of them looked my way, about to distract me again. Since Shukurei isn't picking up, I'll take you two home. So get ready to leave. Chocolate and Vanilla turned away from me and cast their gazes downward. Returning home on the same day I moved out. Seemed like such a stupid idea that I did hesitate a bit. There was no other way. Nor was there time for excuses. I looked towards Chocolate and Vanilla as they hung their heads in silence and continued on. Listen up, you two. I'm going to open my bakery. I've got no one to rely on, so I don't know how things will turn out. With all that, with all that's going on, I don't know if I can take care of you two. Get it? I mean, it's already going to be difficult enough just looking after myself. It was a quiet voice that I could barely hear. Chocolate said something with her head down. Hmm? What did you say? I came closer and asked her to repeat herself. Uh, uh, wait, 
Hey, Chocola! Uh, wait, stop! Vanilla, why are you running away too? It's dangerous! Stop running around! You'll f if you fall, you'll get hurt! That may be so in Chocola's case, but aren't you bad with physical activity? Come on, I've got you now, Chocola! I, I am not! It's because you two are running around! Hey, uh, stop it! You're still going to run? Yeah, I've got you, Vanilla. What? Chocolate, stop! Really, so <laughs> Chocolate! <laughs> I said stop running! The two of them didn't listen to a word I said as they continued to mess with me. And that was how the first night went. For now, I'll let you stay, but only for tonight. What's with all the bows? I don't have guest beds or futons, okay? While all that was happening, 11 o'clock became midnight. Even if I took them home, everyone was sure to be asleep by now. The one glimmer of hope I had, that Shigure would call me back, didn't happen. So I decided that taking them home tomorrow was my first priority. Cleverly, they ain't even brought your pajamas. Just how much planning went in just how much planning went into their schemes anyway? Really, if you two sleep there, what well will I? <laughs> Don't get ahead of yourselves, you two. A single bed for three people is too crowded. I watched the two of them lie down and curl up on the floor of an empty room without any even curtains. That's way too pitiful of a sight to be called praiseworthy. <laughs> That's something only strange people would say. Where did these cat girls get this information from anyways? Well, since they probably read a lot of books and watched TV in Shigane's room. Chocola isn't good with kanji characters, so she only reads pic so she only reads picture books, though. So. Oh, whatever. You two go sleep in my bed. It still gets pretty cold at night in April, after all. I'm going to sleep on the sofa in the living room. The sofa can fit one person, and there's air conditioning there if I need it. They moved quickly towards me like lions catching their prey. I placed my hands on their heads and spoke in a clear and stern voice. Listen up, I will sleep on the sofa and you two will sleep in my bed. Those are your master's orders, understood? I said, I said it like that deliberately. The two of them looked as though they wanted to say something but they hesitated. 
They lowered their heads apologetically. They mustered out. They looked like they were on the verge of tears. Their obedience had the exact opposite of, of the effect I expected. It filled me with guilt. I felt a prickling sensation in my chest. That pain left to me as I sighed and rubbed the two of them on the head. Come on, get going. Good night. If anything happens, call for me right away. I gently rubbed their heads as the two dis of the two dispirited cat girls once more. <sighs> See you in the morning. With that said, I turned off the lights in the room. Her vanishing voice echoed slightly in the darkened room. The pain in my heart from before it became even sharper. I swallowed that pain and replied cheerfully. It's okay if it's just for one night. Don't worry about it. Now then, go to sleep. <sighs> I really shouldn't act on my emotions, huh? I lay down on the sofa. I sighed while staring at the ceiling. If I gave in to my emotions. The result would just lead to more sadness. If I used kind or hopeful words, they would all end up as lies. It's pretty uncool of me to be so passive like this. While I continued to pile on insults and make excuses for my actions, I closed my eyes and waited for sleep to take over. I suppose I'll leave it there for now. I know it's a visual novel, I should make it longer, but I don't want to make it too long that it ends up that it ends up getting boring. So, with that, I'll leave it here. We'll catch up next time. Till then, this is the Gamer Girl signing off.